Hi everybody, I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. I hadn't planned a video today, but I had to come and show you. You need to run, don't walk, over to Two and a Half Mile Arts. I will put the link down below. I've talked about them before. They're my very dear friends. I had to stop by their house today to pick up, let me show you what I picked up. If I have it up here, I think I do, yeah. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. But they do engraving. So I had Jimmy make me some of these. Where are you? Can you see it? I can't see you. Where is it? Right there. Can you see it? Yeah. Anyway, if you can't see it, he engraved Free Spirit Arts on a bunch of pencils. So, I thought those are were cool. They were really inexpensive. So, if those look like something you need for your business. But, while I was there, I've told you guys... Jimmy has, they've had an upholstery business, and Susan had a quilting business. Now, you can imagine the amount of threads, fabrics, all that kind of jazz. Well, um, she asked me, Susan asked me, I was in there just going, oh my gosh, look at this satin. Oh my gosh, look at this white stuff. This would make a great shabby chic. And she said, do you think anybody would like this? I said, yeah, they would. That would be a great Halloween. Even if you were just, gosh. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah. So, I wanted to show you guys this. None of this is on there. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I went over there and said, you got to give me this. I'm going to do a video when I get home. She's like, okay. <laughs> so it's not on their Etsy yet. So just email them if you see anything that I'm going to show you that you want, okay? I don't know what she wanted for this. I, I, we had talked about $7. Let's see how big it is. Let me show you. Okay, so it's 24 by, there's two, three and a half, so it's four and a half yards, four and a half by two feet, okay, Halloween, so I'm going to be I'm just going to take initiative. That's $7, okay? But that's not really what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you these. Susan cut all these packets for different occasions for quilting. But she doesn't do that right now. I'm like, give those to me. Give them to me. Look at these. This is just sparkly with little teddy bear booties. Booties. Stockings. Where is it at? We took one of these apart and I was like, what? This is perfect for books. Give those to me. There's your cover. That is gorgeous. So this is 23 inches long by 15. And not all of these are the same. They're different. She cut them for a, a different, these kits that they used to sell. Okay, so the colors coordinate with the theme of the packet. Here's some solid red. Okay, th 
that is 19 by 7. This is, mm, I wouldn't call this felt. What is this? It's just cotton. And it's 22 inches. I mean, one pack of these, you could make all kinds of Christmas ephemera. One book, two books, depending on the size. 22 inches. Gosh, this was so much work. And all of it is coordinating. So it all kind of goes together. So if you use this for pockets, it would match. I just thought these were so cool. I know the one I want. But I told her that I would put them on my channel. That's about 11 inches. And then if y'all don't run over there, there, the packs are $15 a piece, free shipping in the US. $15 a piece. Of course, it would be cheaper if, uh, I, well, I assume, I assume it would be less expensive if it um, goes out of the country because then she can't calculate, she'd have to calculate shipping. I don't know how that works, but she said that $15 would include shipping in the U.S. Okay, there was a couple of these. This pattern. I just love that. The blue is so brilliant. It's sparkly. It's beautiful. And the fabric is, it's really, really clean. And she's pressed them all. They've been hanging up, you know, for, in her shop. Look at this one. Now this is, I won't undo it because there's several to go through. Just know they're all not all exactly the same. Black, white. This one is exactly the same. Well, very close to the other one. I think it's almost exactly the same. But the cover is different. And this is all there is. When they're gone, they're gone. These are perfect. This is the one we opened and tore apart. I got so excited. So this is airplane, veteran, army. You know, if somebody has somebody in the service, this is really sparkly. Nice, huh? I'm trying to go really fast, but you don't want to miss of these that are coming up. They're so dang cute. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. If you love those deep, deep, oh, this is gorgeous. This is sparkly. Can you see it? This is sparkly. This has a little sparkle to it. If you're doing an astronomy journal, a romance journal, look at all these colors. You can't go to Joann's and get all this for, this is a lot of black, so your cover would be black. I mean, it's just all right there. I just thought these were so cool.
look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, hello. Wow. Look at that. Tammy, I thought of you. Mm. Okay, so the coordinating ones are this beautiful gold, this gorgeous blue. It's actually not blue. What color is that? Teal? Is that teal? This is the deepest foresty green. Bright, bright blue. Earthy brown. Two different shades. <clears throat> Look at those. I just, oh, I'm in love. Is this Christmas? Oh, yeah, Christmas. So this is mittens. So dark green, there's blue, there's some Christmas um, snowflakes. Stripes, brown, white, red, and orange. Look at this. Here's your journal cover. Cut it about right there. It's tapestry, it's just freaking amazing. I, what I would do, I think, is I would probably cut this and use it as a band on the inside for a pocket. Maybe even fold that over, you know, so it went like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. $12. The other big one was seven, that one's 12. Oh, this is the fall. Look at this, burnt, or burnt orange. These are, if I remember right, these are all solids. So there's orange, this pretty blue, burnt orange, or rust, I guess, white. This blue has, um, I don't know if those are uh, greenery on it. Green and four different kinds of brown. Are you doing an autumn journal? There you go. Let's see. Oh, here's a pumpkin. If you're doing Halloween. So it's got ghosts. A solid bright orange, bright green. Here's some blue, brown, yellow, black, and white. This was one of my faves. If you're doing a fall journal, here you go. This has all my favorite colors. Look at this. I gotta show you this up close. Look. You probably really can't appreciate. My camera's not great, but there it's very rich. It's not cheesy at all. And look at that. For ephemera. Yeah. You could sew a strip together and make a pencil holder. Yeah, and put some have them make you some pencils, and then you'd have pencils to include in your journal. I just thought of that. That's a great idea. I love these two together. Because it's not matchy-matchy. I like that. I really like that. This is definitely one of my faves. And they're all really good fabrics. Here you go, steampunk. Big train. I can't remember what colors are in here. 
so it's all trains, different kinds of trains. Okay, oranges, yellow, dark green. This brown is gorgeous, beautiful. That would be, that would be a great book. Here's another pumpkin one. Looks like it's got the same color in it. Here is an ornament one. It looks a little different than the one we show I showed you before, but it's basically the same color. See, so she pulled out the blue. Let's see what it's got. Green, maroon, blue, white, don't see any black, tan. This is beautiful. I love that some of them sparkle. I'm a, I'm a sucker for some sparkle. Ooh, here's another steampunk with different colors. This is really pretty. Okay. This is beautiful. It's got a little gold, really sweet red. I believe that's like a the darkest blue you can imagine under on the as the base. Okay, look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is gorgeous fabric. It's blue, gold, like a burnt rose, deep maroon. Here's the accent colors, and they all shine. And there's some warm white, still has a little sparkle, and silver. That is, that is gorgeous. That would make a beautiful traveler's notebook. And then this one... I don't think I showed this. It's just, it's got presents and drums and things like that and all the coordinating fabrics. So, go over and get these. They're $15, free shipping in the U.S. They're not on their website. You'll have to email them. And I'm going to have to remember what I called them. <laughs> but... You know, you can, you know, this is fall, this is pumpkins, this is steampunk, this is Christmas with ornaments, so this is green poinsettia, this is gorgeous fall colors with maybe call it fans. So, run, don't walk. Two and a half mile arts. You guys have been awesome supporting them, and they wanted me to tell you how much they appreciate it. Okay, now, I wanted to do something a little funky. I'm thinking about a journal. Imagine that, right? I'm thinking about a journal like that. And it just so happens that I have this huge box. of scrap. And remember those packets that I just showed you, when they're gone, they're gone. They don't have any others made up or anything. That's it. You all know how I feel about um, Uhu. So I, don't, I just don't trust it like in a collage. Sometimes it works great. But I don't generally have good luck with it. 
So. I'm going to Mod Podge mine. <laughs> okay, so I have to tell you about my adventures today. If you saw my last couple videos, you know that I, my husband got in those big barrels and drug out my sheep wool and fiber from our goat and stuff from our farm and I went through it and um, I've been playing with some I ran some through the picker and um, I cleaned some and, and whatnot but there's a gal, I talked about it in my video, that has a, a she turned a, this barn, or I don't know what you'd call it, a building, an outbuilding, into a processing center, mill. Let's call it what it is, it's a mill. And bless her soul, she's told me I could come out. So I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna do all cut edges. I don't normally do that. I'm going to do it this time. So she said I could bring out some fleeces and she would look at them. And so I did. That black fleece I found out this morning wasn't any good. Well, it's not any good for spinning. I'm emotionally attached to it because it was our llama. So I am going to do probably an unwise thing. And I'm going to go ahead. She put it through a tumbler, which is kind of like a big, hmm, it's a big, what would you say, like a dryer, but there's no heat and there's no fan. And it just tumbles it. And it's a, it's a, like a big, a big drum made out of wire or, well, I don't know. Anyway. She put it in there and knocked all the dirt out. And uh, I got to help her, which was so cool. She was processing an alpaca fleece, and I got to help with that. I was so excited. <laughs> so excited. Today's been a good day. It's been a good day. Our COVID numbers are coming up, like rapidly. The ICU in Boise is just full. I don't know about our ICU here. I, I'm not sure where I could even go to find out. I don't know anybody that works in ICU, but I do know somebody that works in Boise. It's very sad. It's very sad. These people, by the time they decide to get their vaccine or realize that some of the things they've been told weren't right, it's too late. You know, like 39 years old. You've got a toddler at home. And, the, and COVID is going to be the thing to kill you. Gosh. Oh, it really breaks my heart. I just, uh, just breaks my heart. I uh, got all the packages for the giveaway shipped. And... Actually, I've gotten a lot done. I'm very proud of myself. I've got a roast in the oven for our supper. I'm actually proud of myself for that, too. <laughs> 
Do you guys do this? Every night at dinner, it's like it's like it's a big surprise. It, we, we play the same game. Are you hungry? Yeah? Yeah, I'm getting hungry. What do you want to eat? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, we could have chicken. Yeah, it's frozen. Oh. Um, let's have steak. Well, we would have had to have started marinated, marinating that a while ago. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know, what do you want? I don't know, well, what sounds good? I don't know, oh, gosh. And today I said, get something out of the freezer. I don't care what it is. I'm not doing the, I don't know what I want to eat game. Then we end up going out to dinner when we don't go out to dinner because we're not going out to dinner. But We're still staying close to home. Susan's vaccinated, Jimmy's vaccinated, and they're both very, very careful. But I don't hug them. Normally I'm a huggy person and we don't hug. But, I mean, I don't even really see them very often, even though we were standing outside. You know, we stand far away. I think we're going to get another lockdown. I hate to say the words out loud. I know that's bad. But I just don't see how we're going to get... I think there's a second variant brewing that we're not vaccinated for. And I, the way the numbers are going, I'm just, what else are we going to do? I heard a story about, oh, somebody's here. I heard a story about one night in the ICU when several of the nurses just, they couldn't, they, they'd lost so many patients, little kids crying on their, on iPads, so, it was just so heartbreaking that they broke down. You know, I can, I can see it. I don't know, you know, in the crafting world and stuff, if, I know a lot of people don't talk about it. It's like, it's taboo. You don't discuss current events or, I don't, I don't know what the real rule is. I've never, I've never followed those guidelines in any part of my life, I, you know, I just, I don't know, I just don't. But I think, I think we need to talk about it. How can we fix it if we don't share information? We have to. Oh, this is what I got from your creative studios. Usually, when I collage, normally I take just random scraps of all shapes. And I, I, I may have done, whoop, like that, that's what I normally do. I may have done it when I did that collage journal cover I may have done it with rough edges. I mean, straight edges. I'm not sure, I can't really remember. So, anyway, I think it's okay for us to share with each other what's going on in our world. We're all I mean, we're all in it together. 
and we live all around the world. And, you know, if we want to be there for each other and help each other, I think we have to share what's going on in our world. I watched, last night I watched, um, I'm just going to start doing this. Um, they were talking about New Orleans. Boy, those people know how to get ready for a storm. You can tell they've been through it. I hope everybody's okay. You're in my thoughts, guys. A lot of this that I thought I had is actually a heavier weight. I don't think it goes together. I may have to go get some Italian book page or something. Hmm. I don't think that'll go. Can you see this box? You probably can't. See, it's all thicker. Not all of it, but a lot of it is. We all have a lot going on. I'm grateful for all of you. I really hope you're all doing okay. Oh, that's a good one. Let's do these. Let's put the tea bag down. I've never done that before. Let's do it. So yeah, I got to go out to this mill and play with the machinery. Well, okay, it wasn't really that intense. I got to sit in the chair and catch fiber as it came out and just gently guide it into a basket. <laughs> so I'm practically a professional. I mean, let's just face it. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good way. Let's try that. I haven't seen anything that anybody's been doing. Who's doing what? Boy, this is random, you guys. I mean, we're talking random. This is what you do with your scraps. Here you go.
sure is neutral. I'll probably have to do a second layer to give it some personality, I think. I just love the way a paper bag sounds. Nope, 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 nope. I refuse to get more paper out. I refuse. I refuse. I was listening to Lindsay, the frugal crafter, the other day. She was talking about, well, she was talking about many things, but one of them was stopping spending, you know? We all tend to, not all, but I know a lot of us are buying things because it's fun and they're new and all of that, and we don't need them. And it's really terrible when you go to clean your craft room and you find something you bought that you thought you absolutely had to have a year ago, and there it sits. Oh. One thing I bought that I liked it, but I don't, I don't know what to use it for, is. Um, What's it called? It's a little, like a hot thing, and it melts plastic, so you could make your own pockets. I got it to make ephemera folios, but I have two ephemera folios, so I don't need it. So there it sits. I have a, a brand new cinch binder that I got for Christmas or my birthday that I had to have. I wanted it so bad. And I'm just scared to use it. Oh yeah, I think this will be cute when I get it all done. What time is it? Time goes too fast. And usually I would do the edges, distress the edges. And I'm not going to do that this time. I think what I might do is get this all done and then get maybe Edith Holden out. And put a really pretty Edith Holden on there. I'm so excited for you guys to get your packages. I hope you like them. Don't hoard them. Use them. Should I put napkin on there? Maybe I'll put some napkin on the top. I love that balloon. Let's use that. So I hope you go over to Two and a Half Mile Arts. Tell, just email them, because like I said, none of that stuff's gonna. <laughs> Jimmy was looking at me like, uh. I said, I put this on my channel. You guys need to sell this. There are journal makers that are looking for this. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay. So just email them and tell them that it's what you're looking for, that Carol showed it on her channel, and they'll know exactly what it is. <laughs> I was listening to Lindsay and uh, about buying stuff you don't need, and oh, she was talking about she went to a thrift. Uh, thrift store and she found some really cool big dies. Really cool ones. And she was talking about how much easier they are to use and because you can put I didn't realize this. I have some big dies. I don't think I've ever even opened them. It's shameful, really. I mean, it really is. I need to open them. But she was saying that you can put like three or four pieces of paper and do them all at once. I did not know that. I probably would have used them if I didn't know that. Oh, here's your tip of the day if you have wasps. For years, I have been buying Y, W-H-Y, wasp stuff and putting them in the Y wasp catcher thing. I catch a couple wasps, but I never really make a dent in the hive. <laughs> You know, I just basically have wasps all summer. Well, I found out after making hummingbird food that they love, that if you just cook a little sugar water and put it in your wasp container or a plastic liter bottle turned inside itself, you will catch dozens It's instant. I mean, they're just one right after the other. I've caught a ton of wasps now. I didn't know that. And Susan was actually telling me in the spring they eat, they, they want protein, and in the fall they want sugar. That's an interesting little tidbit if you've never heard that before. Okay. I need to fill in, so I need some book page. Sounds like my dogs are hungry. Oh, that's cute. That's probably why I saved it. See, normally I would distress the edges, but I'm not going to this time. Okay, we're going to run out of time. I guess I could look up here, huh? Yeah, we're out of time. Okay, so you see where I'm headed with this? I'm going to get that done. I probably won't do the inside. I'll do that with something really pretty. This is just my base for the cover. And I think I probably will put some Edith Holden pages on top of this. I'll let it dry and let it see. Let's see what, if any of it comes up. And maybe I'll sew it. Just for giggles. 
Okay, so what else was that I wanted to tell you? It was something I wanted to tell you before I left. Um, can't remember what it was. Thanks, guys, for all the sweet comments about my giveaway and my 500 subscribers. I see a lot of you commented that I haven't heard from. Um, you must watch and and not comment. So it was really sweet that I I saw you say, "Hey, congratulations!" That really does mean a lot. I'm I'm really grateful. Um, I hope you're all safe. I hope you have people around you to help you if you do happen to come down with COVID. And if you live in the New Orleans area or in, pa in the path of this storm, please know that I really am hoping that you'll all be safe and, and weather this storm. The New Orleans people are built of iron, I swear. Um, let's all take care of each other. And I will put the link to Susan and Jimmy's shop down below. Okay? Thanks a lot, guys. There's what I made. Pretty ugly. But every project has an ugly stage. You have to push through it. Okay. Let's all take care of each other. Bye-bye.